Welcome everyone to Top 3 Gaming News. My name is Given Madness. This past weekend was really good for gamers because Borderlands 3 was launched last Friday as well as for PS4 players there was Call of Duty Modern Warfare Beta. But for those games we have a good news, bad news kind of situation. Borderlands 3 launch date peak concurrent players were twice as high as that of Borderlands 2, by the way, which released 7 years ago. That is some kind of fan base. According to Steam charts, Borderlands 2 peak players at that time was 1,23,596. So to twice that up, that means it should be around 2,47,000? That is a lot of players, including those who are fans of Borderlands as well as people who are trying it for the first time ever. That also includes me. Borderlands 3 is the most awaited game this year because it's a sequel to Borderlands 2. And it's really great to see so many people in PC alone. Borderlands 3 is right now available on Epic Store exclusive and I know that Epic Store is not your favorite but hey, it's Borderlands, come on. Resident Evil's new game Project Resistance trailer was launched a few days ago and now the Capcom producer Matt Walker talks about the issues that people are talking about this very game. A lot of people wanted Resident Evil to be like Resident Evil 2 or like Resident Evil 7 but since Project Resistance is more like Left 4 Dead 2, people are very disappointed and Capcom's producer actually states that it is valid for people to like those games but they want the game to branch out to have new experiences for people to enjoy. According to Walker, he says that if you make same kind of games, it might get boring afterwards. So we're making something new that can add a new experience to players who love Resident Evil. He also said that this game is a great survival horror experience that you need and to be honest, I am down with this kind of survival game. But Capcom is really looking forward for these feedback that players will give once the beta is done. Call of Duty's Modern Warfare beta seem to have discovered the most scariest thing of all time, loot boxes. Call of Duty beta started this weekend for PS4 players who have pre-ordered the game and even though a lot of people were complaining about not having the minimap, but there's one thing that was discovered and that is loot box. YouTuber Nero discovered something in the user interface of the game that might suggest that there is a loot box of some capacity. In the image you can clearly see that in the left hand corner there is unlockable and under that it says supply drops which can be quote unquote loot boxes. Call of Duty always had some kind of microtransaction added to the game but it was never implemented or shown in beta. Even Call of Duty Black Ops 4 implemented loot boxes or reserve crates that was implemented after 4 months of launch. So spotting loot box right here in beta might indicate that the game will launch with loot boxes. Activision earlier confirmed that they will remove the traditional season pass of the game and will include all the post launch content for free for everyone and would use some other business models to gain revenue. And loot boxes might be the way. Call of Duty will be having an open beta this weekend from September 21st to 23rd on all platforms and for PC players you have to install it in battle.net. Thank you all for watching this episode of Gaming News. Make sure you hit the like button, click on subscribe and enable that notification bell icon to know everything about gaming. And also don't forget to join Gamer Connect community in Facebook right now, link in the description below. This was me Gaming Madness and that was gaming.